at Blue Reef in Tynemouth, there's a wide range of animals and creatures, from native fish to tropical fish to seals, otters and monkeys. The tropical tank is home to Billy, a small yellow porcupine puffer fish. Billy, when being fed, spits water out of his mouth to show he's hungry. Although they may look cute, puffer fish have razor sharp teeth and highly poisonous flesh. They also have the ability to blow themselves up to the size of a football, a quality that puffer fish are well known for, but this will only ever happen when they are in distress. Striped damselfish are nicknamed humbugs after the black and white sweets. They can be found swimming in groups and defending their own individual territories. Clownfish and regal tang have been made famous by the film Finding Nemo. Clownfish can live safely among the anemone's tentacles as they have a special layer of mucus on their skin to protect them. In exchange, the clownfish will clean and feed the anemone. Snake locks anemone although they look very beautiful, can give an extremely painful sting. The lionfish, also known as the dragonfish, belongs to the scorpion family. It is one of the most venomous fish in the ocean, as it has a mane of needle-sharp spines along its back, which can cause paralysis and even death. Common seals are known as harbour seals. These are third generation captive bred seals from Norway and Denmark. There are actually 33 different species in the world. They are very affectionate animals and like to kiss their trainers, even when they are not being fed. What they're actually doing is putting their whiskers up to their trainers' faces to identify them. Seals can hold their breath for up to 25 minutes and can even sleep under water. Due to the stresses incurred in the breeding season, the females outlive the males. Males only live for 25 to 30 years, whereas females live up to 30 to 35 years. Sea turtles are one of the Earth's most ancient creatures. They have been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Their shell is streamlined, allowing them to glide easily through the water. Turtles face many dangers traveling through the sea. Some are accidentally captured or become entangled in fishing nets. They also face the hazards of ocean pollution and the loss of their nesting and feeding sites due to coastal development. In some countries, they are even hunted to be eaten. Asian short-clawed otters are the smallest of the world's otters. They can be distinguished from other otters by their small claws, which are used like hands to handle their food. They eat meat, shellfish, nuts and vegetables. Otters are generally aggressive animals, and even though they look cute, they can be quite vicious. It takes time for them to build up a trust and a bond with people, but after that, otters can be trained like dogs and develop a bond with their trainers. Here we have the monkey enclosure, home to three different monkeys. A cotton top tamarin called Felice, a common marmoset called Miko, and a pygmy marmoset named Alfie. These monkeys like to eat fruit, such as bananas and grapes, and also various insects, like locusts. Miko was originally someone's pet. He was kept in a tiny parrot cage and was also fed a poor diet of chocolate and marshmallows. Fortunately, Miko was rescued and brought to a better quality of life at Blue Reef. The pygmy marmoset is one of the smallest species of monkey in the world. They are only 11 to 15 centimeters in length. Their tiny features make them popular in the exotic pet trade. The cotton top tamarin is classified as critically endangered on the red list of threatened species, meaning that there are less than 2,000 of them existing in the wild. They are very close to extinction. Having monkeys in captivity is good for conservation, and as can be seen here, they are happy in their Blue Reef home.